So this is the the SMC parts and CF SMC parts without the other stuff. Essentially, yes, but it also includes some of the plastic parts on the nose cone here. And uh -huh. these are these arms are um a little bit naked because they don't have the covers, they don't have all the you know the wiring. But uh -huh. this is directionally, you know, where where we're going with with all of this beautiful engineering. Right. And that, so that's, that's the thing that is is the most amazing about this vehicle, right? It's mm -hmm. like, yes, you look at it when it's in Luna or Noir or Soul, and you say, Oh, I want that. I get it. It's it's aerodynamic. But when you realize like that beauty goes mm -hmm. all the way through this vehicle, mm -hmm. that's the that's the most amazing part, right? Yeah. So that's like some metal piece to reinforce the hip of the door, huh? The door is in itself amazing, right? Okay. Because it's not a flat door. It's much more curved. Mm -hmm. And then within the, the, you have a carbon fiber SMC inner, mm -hmm. you have a glass SMC outer, mm -hmm. right? And then in between, you have the three metallic parts, which provide you the amazing structural rigidity and and strength mm -hmm. and that starts it, it just it becomes like so the future is pulling us along with this engineering mm -hmm. right and the, fu the the future is pulling us along with the safety the future pulling us along with the process this is the most amazing part of what we're doing right we can we can look at solar panels we can look at you know, I love that everyone's like, oh, I can't have bungee or, you know, I, I want noir, I want a wrap. Mm -hmm. But really underneath all of all of the, um, you know, aesthetic appeal mm -hmm. is the best story. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, a lot of people are asking for the Aptera just naked, not sure. wrapped. But uh you know, I think you have to wrap it with something to protect it from UV. Is, is there, the yeah, you have you have the UV issue, right? But I think like some people want like a clear wrap so you can just see everything underneath. Yeah, I get that. That's what you want. You want mm -hmm. you want to drive everybody's desire so that they can paint on the canvas. Because most of the negativity comes from a mirror. They say, well, that's not this or that's not that or i you know you guys should do this those the mirrors whatever mm -hmm. but the canvas is where everybody deserves their moment and mm -hmm. that's what you have that's what i have that's what everyone has i will do my best to answer any question mm -hmm. but i'm so proud of all of the design and the engineering and the you know it's a challenge the, the greatest thing with engineers is that they're, they're so smart, mm -hmm. right? They are, they are the most important thing. And they're not just engineers for like, hey, I've solved this thing, but it costs, you know, millions of dollars. It's like, how do we efficiently solve it? Mm -hmm. And right. when you get in this, when you get in this mode with them where they kind of bring a problem and you say, oh my God, you know, how are we going to fix that? And then it becomes an opportunity. And pretty soon... They're just smiling because they've solved the puzzle. Everybody mm -hmm. wins. The supplier mm -hmm. wins because it doesn't cost them as much. The engineer wins because they've, they've created some new way of doing thing. Mm -hmm. This is the most amazing thing. And mankind is really, really, really good mm -hmm. at applying solutions to problems. Mm -hmm. And we've never been in a better situation uh, where our intelligence is allowing us to manipulate the future instead of respond to the past or the environment. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm eternally optimistic about our solutions uh -huh. technologically, right? Yeah. And, and, and when you, when, you know, when you really unpack this, like, this is not, this is not like, just me saying hey look at look at how cool this looks uh -huh. these are some engineers that are like here's how you make this right 
Right. And here's here's the properties, the material properties. Here's the strength requirements. Here's the longevity. Here's the you know all the all the things you need to do. And then you have a whole set of rules that you have to apply to it. Mm -hmm. Right. And that just becomes like holy moly, this is amazing. So everyone who is invested, you know, including myself, I was one of the early WeFunder investors before yeah. I became an employee at Aptera, uh -huh. right? And, you know, I've believed in this in a long time. And, you know, we, we have a second chance, let's say, uh -huh. to, to execute on this. Yep. And it's, it's never been more pure. Like it is, as more, not as more. As much as we have challenges, mm -hmm. like every week, the reality behind the scenes and the reality of the execution and the and the 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 um, implementation of the engineering mm -hmm. just gets better and better. Yeah. So I know you've worked on many cars before, Jason. Can you talk a little bit about? about how designing for this is different than how cars are or vehicles are des usually designed or is there a difference? Um, sure, there is a difference. Um, and because a lot, you know, when, when you work for automakers and OEMs, uh -huh. they, they are, they're working to improve a product in a given segment. It's uh -huh. pretty rare. But it, it has happened. And, you know, we have to we have to realize, like, you know, we're in the year 2023. And what's 50 years ago? That's 1970. Mm -hmm, yeah. Kind so of crazy to think 50, about, but yes. <laughs> yeah. What's what's 50 years from 1970? That's uh -huh. 1920. Yeah. So if you think about the changes that have happened in 50 years from 1920 to 1970 and then mm -hmm. 1970 to 2023, Mm -hmm. Or roughly, right? Yeah. This is an incredible era. We're accelerating into the future. And mm -hmm. we have the ability to, you know, learn and apply and, and be optimistic about these things mm -hmm. um, and, and be efficient in our in our use of resources. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's terrible to think about the destruction that's taken place over the last centuries. Um let's say environmentally, like we weren't very efficient in extracting resources. Mm -hmm. In the last 50 plus years, mankind's efficiency in extracting resources from the earth and reusing them and being more efficient with them and less wasteful has gone up exponentially, mm -hmm. right? There, it, 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 it's just... I'm, again, I'm back to the op optimist, but you have to be optimistic. Mm -hmm. Design and design should be optimistic. Designers are eternally optimistic about, you know, there are no problems, but we have to, we have to, uh, we have to realize that there are, you know, there are failure modes, there are environmental conditions, and it's easy for people to say, well, you know, what do I do with that vehicle? And, you know, two inches of, or four, four feet of snow in the middle of winter. It's like, well, you, you don't drive anything in four feet of snow, mm -hmm. but we're not trying to change everything into an Aptera. Right. We're trying to establish a foothold in an industry that is mobility, that allows people an efficient way to move from one point to the other and be the least wasteful possible. Mm -hmm. And when you think about like what this carbon fiber is, it is an amazing material. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it comes from a natural resource, oil. It is not, you know, but it also, you know, can, it, it, it is so strong and so light and we can use it in a manner that's more efficient than, uh, iron which becomes steel or other metals right mm -hmm. that's what's like really fun like we're not we don't need to conquer everything mm -hmm. right we just need to like take one step forward and then let the future pull us forward 
because mm -hmm. we're not in the automotive business. We're in the inevitable future business. And the inevitable future is that everything gets more efficient. Mm -hmm. That's my yeah. speech. Yeah, That's yeah. What I do every day, I love it. I convince myself. You're smiling. Look, it's a, it's it's an awesome journey, and there's there's forty thousand or forty one thousand plus people that are like, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They pretend. This is the weird thing. Not pretend. They convince themselves logically that this is it, but really, we all fall in love first. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We fall in love with something and then we justify it. Yeah, yeah. And there's so much. This is why this image that I'm showing right now is more important than the final, you know, I want noir, I want soul, I want Luna. Mm -hmm. What you really want is to connect with the engineering and the beauty of the depth of this vehicle, not the skin. Yeah. I think that the mission. Yeah, I think the Aptera customer base is like that. I think I think it's probably well overrepresented with like engineers and engineering type people cuz that's why they like it. They like well, the engineering. I agree. I think, well, it's interesting you say that because I think, again, mirror and canvas. Mm -hmm. But we have, a, we have a unique position where you have left brain and right brain people mm -hmm. both passionate about this. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's something that I've been, I've been studying for a while, like... Mm -hmm. Why is it that you have the engineers saying yes, and you have the artists or the, you know, you have the heart and the mind, mm -hmm. not in conflict, but in, 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 in Congress saying, oh, I really like this. Mm -hmm. That's what makes this authentic. Mm 